So good evening everyone. It is evening time here at Las Contas Del Mar. We played hooky. You will be seeing the videos on that if you uh, stick with us and follow through on our video series, not just the house building, we go out and travel as well. And you will see us going out on another adventure. We took the truck and we went to uh, ferry port here and we went across to Gimaras Island. I've always said I want to drive my truck and circumvent that whole entire island and uh, see different things at it. And so that is exactly what we did. So we headed out of here yesterday morning. We got to the ferry just in time. We got there and I'll cover that uh, exploring and videos of their own. So we returned back here today. Um, we got back while they were at their lunch time and of course they were waiting for us for a few things and I think there were a little tempo. Tempo is kind of like pouting, you know, probably because we're out playing and they're working. Well, that's the way it is. Somebody's got to be the king. Well, nevertheless, they did get some things done. So I'll show you here on what they got done on that stump on getting it dug out. We'll go over here and we'll look at the septic. Uh, I'm very impressed with that. And upstairs, I haven't been there yet. We'll go see what happened there as well as getting those um, misformed columns corrected, getting that round cement broke off of there where they can prepare proper stirrups, extend the steel, and we can begin to try to pour a wall up there hopefully soon. As you see here, they're still working out around this stump. I had a viewer that had a wise, nice suggestion he made, you know, to uh, to burn this stump out. Well, yeah, that that very much is possible, and um, I appreciate that suggestion very much. A couple things, though, you see that blue line right there? That is the water line from my well up front, going to the hand pump back here, and um, I wouldn't want a chance of any of that burning for one thing we got a lot of bamboo here we would be inundated with that smoke for days on end and so i just really didn't want any fire going on here the next thing is is we're going to try to make something out of this big stump um, here in the philippines you'll find them everywhere they will take a big chainsaw and they will slice through and make beautiful tabletops and benches and all kinds of things. Even if it has holes down in between where those roots are, it adds to the character of it. Now, I know I said before, I did not want to run a chainsaw through this because of the nails, and I am telling the truth on that. As you see even right there, what do you see? Nails. And I believe all of those nails though are gonna be above grade up here at the top. I really don't think that I'll have nails down below. I'm, I'm hoping not anyway. I really don't know why someone would need to be driving a nail underground. Things could happen, who knows. But um, it's gonna be a challenge getting this out of here period anyway. I'll probably have to clear this bamboo out of the way, open my gates. I'll probably have to take my truck, put it in low four wheel drive and uh, try to tow this out. It's probably going to be my best bet. That thing right there is going to weigh a lot. A lot. And it may become too burdensome for us to try to have anything made out of it. You can see here now that it's all hollowed out all around right there. It's probably just a matter of time. And looking at it from this angle, I don't think it's going to be as heavy as I first thought. Yeah, I should be able to pull that out of here with my truck once they get it cut loose so that'll be that and once that's out about this area right here next to it kind of getting right over close to the base of that trunk is where the last footings going in and those will be done so now let's move on and see the septic so here we are here on the septic tank and uh as you see the cement is poured there it is there it is everyone um, it, it looks really great. It got it wrapped up in some uh, plastic there right now, but there's the floor drain pipe, another floor drain pipe, a sink drain, 
um, the washing machine drain access holes to the black water side and the gray water side as well as a vent pipe coming up right here it's poured back against the wall and uh, it looks good I tend to just leave a rough surface on it don't try to smooth it because we're going to be putting tiles anyway so that is done there it is that is done Oh wow, so this is pretty much done, pretty much done, so there it is, they just come here and clean this up in the morning, looks like they had to kind of bend the bars back a little bit to get in there and work, there it is, I had a little bit of a solar issue, and it's no fault the equipment, my inverter's fine, don't worry, it's all okay. My batteries are okay. Okay, so when they originally came out and installed these for me, my MPPT charge controller in there, inverter hybrid unit, says that you can have, it's like 100 and something, 140 something volts maximum coming. So, okay, so these are like uh, 40 something volts each on the panels here. I'm, I know I'm not giving you dead on specifics because I don't have it in front of me. But these were 40 something volts each, okay? Okay. So if we would have combined, combined all of these together in a series, all four of those, um, you would have put, watch, let's just, if we even round it 40, 40, 80, so that would have been 160 volts, right? Well, on open circuit. Well, we didn't need to do that because that exceeded what was recommended on my MPPT charge controller. So what we did is we put two of these together in a series, two of those together in a series, and uh, then we paralleled them together. So we, we upped the voltage, putting the series, doubled the voltage, you doubled the voltage, and then when we put that set and that set together into a parallel, then we also doubled the amperage. And that was okay. Well, when they installed that, they did not have the splitters they needed. So, on my little 12 volt system here, they had robbed my little splitters right down here and used them to combine that parallel together. Well, it left my 12 volt system null and void. So, I said, guys, y'all have got to come bring me the proper splitters at the right amperage splitters for the solar panels over there and put these back on my 12 volt and put my 12 volt system back up. So the morning of my birthday, they did. They came out, they did that, they removed them, they put them back here. We got that back going and they put a different type over here on this. Let me go show you. So they had put this style on right here, which is really great, no problem with it. I like them, I like them a lot actually. And uh, well, everything showed to be working when they left. And then the next morning, I come over here to get things open up for the guys, and I have no power. And it turns out that one of these little ends right here did not fit on there properly or was flared out or something. And this connector were the joins right here, and it was not letting it make a good connection. Something so simple and if you looked at it, it all looked new and it felt like it clicked together nice and tight and perfect. But there was a problem in there. And it was as simple as them removing and changing one of these 
connectors right here. And so, uh, let me get that underneath there. They got that going and they were really nice and uh, you know, it was just an odd thing that happened. I really believe him when he said that he actually hadn't had that happen before. Uh, sometimes just crazy stuff happens, right guys? My inverter set up to where if the voltage gets so low, it shuts the inverter down. So I don't over drain my batteries because that will do damage to them. So uh, sure enough, they were using power tools, saws, uh, grinders, lights, just things, right? And it was pulling the batteries down without solar array working. And it hit that, that boundary that I set and it shut the inverter off. They got it, they got it taken care of. I believe that they did a good job. But at the same time, I also had them delivering me today four more solar panels. So that'll give me a total of 12 of these 325 watt panels. Um, I'm, I'm happy for that. I wanted to have them all matching, same brand, same manufacturer, same specs. And the other day on my birthday, they told me that that warehouse only had four more of those in there. And then they're changing to another top. They're not ordering any more of those. And I said, ah, go ahead and get me those. Bring me those. And because uh, he'd been warning me that they might not have any more of them. So at least I have them. They're in the garage and they're there for the future. So y'all watch the videos I have coming up. I have some amazing, amazing drone footage from the air. I met some great people along the way. Uh, you, you great people that I met that are from up in Manila, Cavite, I believe you told me. Uh, hello to you again. I hope that you see our vlog and see yourselves there. And it was really nice talking to you, and uh, that was a pleasurable moment. Stick with us. Watch out for those videos coming up, and I thank you. So I'm going to close out another day here at Las Conchas Del Mar on our building project. Thank you. I like it. And I like that one too. They both seem to be a success. I think that the one that I bought for $20 less is just as good as light as the one that I gave more money for that don't even have a remote. So I do have the information on those two to share with you guys. See it just dim back down. Let's see if I can turn around without it tripping on. And then watch me move. See? That is great. And it's not just a regular little eye motion sensor. It is actually like a radar. It works. All right, guys. Take care.